Hey Taurus, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. All right, Taurus, we're going to go ahead and get it started with your reading. We're going to start off with some Oracle cards, and then we're going to get into the Tarot. Into the tarot. Let's see what your situation is, Taurus. Let's get it. Taurus. Ooh, Taurus. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, it says, Verge, about to reveal, confess. Yes. Okay, so whatever it is that you guys have been waiting for, that's about to be over and done with very soon. But let's see. Let's see what's happening. The first thing that came out is love. Someone is going to confess that they love you, maybe possibly miss you. If they, if you've never been in a relationship with, with them, they're like, I can't take it anymore. I have to be able to express and tell them how I feel. <laughs> that type of thing. This is another one that came out. Here it says lockbox, trapped, uh, trapped in or closed in, frustrated. I do feel like someone feels just like maybe trapped in a situation or maybe they're trapped in a marriage, trapped, you know, trapped in a relationship and someone's threatening them. If you know, if you leave, blah, blah, blah. You know how they go. Okay. Um, it could be you or your person. So take this however it works because I don't want to go through all the details because I'll mix myself up. But, you know, someone loves someone, but then someone else is also trapped in thought, could be trapped in their mind with what they want to say again, and they're not expressing it or trapped in another situation. OK, here it says, um, Arch, 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 Michael, Arch, Angel, Angel, Michael. Sorry, I just don't I, I, I literally don't say this too much. And you guys know I have um, a speech impediment. <laughs> anyway. It says protection prevented from harm, divine intervention. So whatever you guys are going through, you or your person, you're going to be protected. And some of you guys may have needed to hear that for some odd reason. I'm not really sure. Some of you guys may have needed to hear it because you may feel, un may maybe not feel safe or uncertain about your safety. So, you know, who knows? Cleansing, another thing of removing what? Negative energy, please be careful. But just know that whatever you guys are going through, you're going to be okay. But this is like a feeling of like something is going on. Meditation is going to be really good because I feel like you've been through a lot. Um, and, and part of that angel card is like, is things going to happen for me? Am I being looked after? Those questions, we I definitely see you saying in your head here and you will. Um, you could be frustrated. You could be feeling that energy. Like, I mean, come on now. When is things going to work out for me? When am I going to get out of this position? When am I going to love? Those questions will be answered and you will. That, you know, spirit is saying that they hear you. But please get your energy right here with cleansing it. That means your house, you know, you might have to sage, that type of thing, removing negative people from your life. Okay. But something is going to happen on a verge. Someone is going to confess, confess something to you. Okay. It could be friends, family, it could be a coworker lover, whatever, but that's going to happen. But we're going to go ahead and get into your reading and see what this is all about, Taurus. See what's up with you, lovely people. Let's go ahead. Let's get to it for Taurus. Some of you guys are dealing with very attractive people. Very attractive. Yes. Okay. These are the last two that came out. So before we even get to it, look at your wish. And this is the will of fortune. So things are about to go in your favor majorly. <laughs> really good. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck, there's been a, you know, an ending that you've suffered, something that was very harsh for you. You know, this could be a reason why you guys feel trapped in or locked in very frustrated over what has happened. I mean, you can feel that very frustrated energy I'm, I'm sensing. You know, like this really put you down. Like, I can't believe this person did that. No matter who they were, a lover, friends, family, whatever. You could be like, like, wow, did you really do that to me? That's that frustrating feeling. We see here, you're needing to rest. You needed to heal because you feel betrayed. Okay. But this is, I love the fact that it started off because this was the first card that came out. Look at the progression here with the four of swords. It is talking about resting, healing. There's been a pause here. Okay. Um, and you needed it. Like things are happening the way they're supposed to happen. This is all talk about divine timing, that type of stuff too. Because here with the star card, it's still universe. This is things that you are wanting, but it gotta be right. 
So the wheel is saying that things are going to start moving in your favor. Things are going to get to that point where stuff is going to start moving and it's going to be a good thing. Okay. But you may not have been experiencing that. Like when is it going to come? I've been waiting. I've been wanting. People have been hurting your feelings. Right? Backstabbing energy. So let's go ahead. We're going to get into get more cards here. I'm going to take it. It flipped and flipped right back. But I'm just feeling it. Let's get one more. Here we go. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck. Ooh. Taurus. Some type of contract. Some type of commitment. And I'm, I feel commitment with so many signs. I'm telling you guys are going to get married within like a year or so. But you can, you can still see that energy far in advance. And then look at this. So I'm going to put this here. Because that's the card that fell out last. Ten of Cups. Contentment. That type of stuff. Here, I feel like someone has taken advantage of you, um, is what I'm saying. I do feel like now there's going to be things that are going to be given to you, okay? A lot of stuff. But let's just start from the beginning. You feel rejected. You feel unsatisfied, dissatisfied. Life, is just it just sucks right now. And that's why I was telling you earlier about that frustration. Because nothing's happening. Your life is boring, Okay. Nothing has been going on, no matter what they say. And this has been a heavy burden that you guys have been carrying on you. you like, here with the Six of Pentacles, what, I mean, what do I have to give? I've given you, I've given, I've given, I've given, and nothing has been given in return. Okay? Look at all the frustration that you guys are feeling here. But then look at the future. Putting part of that Ten of Wands, holding that on your shoulder is relief that you're about to experience. And also Six of Pentacles talk about what you're about to be given. But it doesn't take away what has already happened. The very fact that you felt rejected, that people, you know, um, made you feel like you weren't important, that you took so much time that you felt like the universe, the universe felt like you needed this much time to heal. <laughs> like, how long is this pause going to be? Am I really that broken? Okay. But now things are going to start speeding up here with the Eight of Wands. We're talking about phone calls, things that you're wishing for, wanting, flying, traveling. And at the end, you see your family. That's a complete set, whatever you guys consider to be family. Okay? Right up under that Wheel of Fortune. So things are going to be very good for you. It's going to, it's going to finally take shape. But you had to remove all that negative energy. And this is negative energy inside of you. Because remember, here it talks about cleansing. Okay? Removing negative energy. But a lot of stuff is happening for you because you are divinely guided and protected. That's why. But listen, it's been it's been a rough ride. So what we're going to do is just um, we're going to clarify some of these cards. We're going to start. We're not going to clarify all of them just because we did it a little bit different today, especially using those oracles. So we're, we're going to see. Let's go ahead. Let's get into that four of cups. Four of cups. Ooh, it popped up really quick here. Three of swords, heartbroken. Now, it doesn't matter what happened. Everybody's situation is different. When your heart is broken, that feeling is the same. It could have been third party. It could have been like the person walked out on you. They stopped talking to you. doesn't matter. That's why you've been feeling that way. And this is why I say it's been a healing period. Expectations may not have even been met. Like when I, I was supposed to be meeting my person a long time ago. But I do feel like there's very he heavy third party energy. Your person was very hasty. They saw something that looked good. And they were like, ooh, I got to go after that. And now they're feeling some kind of way too. Mm -hmm. But I see, I feel new. Let's go ahead. Let's get this star card. Ooh, star card. Here we have the seven of pentacles. And then a star card at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are dealing with Aquarius. Someone, someone feels regret is what I'm feeling. Yeah. So this is someone who's going to be more cooperative. But before you dealt with someone who was dealing with other people and they'd be thinking about you. Past and new is in every reading, guys. Every reading. So what your wish is, is someone who's going to be cooperative, who's going to, who's going to invest, and this is going to be your person. Okay? And you're going to get out of this stuck energy. Remember, remember, lockbox, frustration. You're going to get out of that. Let's get that Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles tried to come out. Well, the fortune, it's been slow, but it's coming. It's been slow, but it is coming. Money, 
um, relationships, it's coming. Frustration because of expectation that has not been realized. Money is going to be good too. Really good when it comes out of your working on yourself and who you are as a person. New beginnings here with the Fool card. Let's go ahead and get that Eight of Wands. Ooh, not talking. Oh, man, did the card fall all the way up under the... There we go. Oh, yeah. Somebody has a very strong uh, obsession or addiction to one a, a, a person. It could be you or your person. Or it could be both. But this is what this is. This is what I'm saying. Wow. You guys don't know what's happening. It's like the more mysterious this person is to you, the more you're drawn and the more you get quiet and, and they don't know what's going on to, with you. They're the same way. <laughs> they're not letting you go. You don't want to let them go. Ooh, kind of like a, oof. That's for those who are dealing with someone from the past though. Wow. That's pretty deep. Because someone really has this weird obsession. Not weird, but like, it's because they messed up. Now they're um, in their head a lot and they can't stop thinking about you, okay? Let's go ahead and get this 10 of cups. So whatever has ended this betrayal, for some, this will be your past person that's gonna come in and try to make things right. But for others, this is gonna be someone new who has to learn you, okay? And they want to build, but things are gonna move so fast, but in a good direction though, right? And it's not going to be fast to the point where you can't, where you can't think, but it's going to be like a whirlwind. But this is communication where there wasn't communication. Okay. So, wow, this is, this is about to pick up. Okay. For a lot of you. So we're going to go ahead and get your uh, finance cards. And then it's going to also show what, what we have to look forward to. So let's go ahead and get the Taurus cards. What you guys have to look forward to. This is for Taurus. you guys got the, the dark cards today <laughs> here says the past Ooh, your past is playing a huge role in your life some of you guys are reminiscing some of you guys are going back doing things that you used to do or that you love to do that's what you're going to be doing here listening to a lot of music um that type of stuff the first card that came out was a holt this is the connection that was at a standstill we saw that with the four of swords also some of your money you might want to slow down on spending or it you know um you need a job and you need something to come in. We saw that here with the working card, right? So this is going to be a job interview, a new type of um, uh, circumstance where you're going to be able to start working because, you know, a lot of people are un uh, unemployed. So this is going to be a new job, especially if that's something that you guys have been wanting to do. Here with retail, this is just talking about shopping. Please just be careful with shopping so much, okay? Um, here it talks about make sure you plan. You know, this is not just going out there, buying things. Make sure you're planning for your future. Someone is planning their future here with the Eight of uh, eight of Pentacles with you, okay? There is going to be a lot of things here um, as far as your finances that you need to do to stay on track. So remember, none of that, none of this uh, moving so fast that you can't um, control what you're doing with your, your money, things of that nature. So please plan. Here it says, success will find you. I want to end it off with that. This just talks about embracing the wisdom of the unknown. You may not know what's happening as part of the high priestess, <laughs> but you will, okay? Your life is going to get so much better. Um, we do see the commitments, contracts, things of that nature. I do see a strong connection with someone, but it's been a rough ride. So this is your reading, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I think you guys are absolutely amazing. Again, if you guys are looking for a read, I have a lot of openings this week. So you guys feel free to email me. All the information is inside of the description box. Taurus, I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.